Hi friends, this is Nidhi and welcome back to my channel. Today let's make a snack which is very easy, instant and healthy. It's full of veggies and can be prepared with only few drops of oil. It's perfect for those who are diet conscious as well as it's a kids friendly snack. So let's see how to make it. So friends, before starting with this yummy recipe, I would like to request you all to please watch my full video and in case if you like it, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel and also do press the bell icon so that you may get the notifications of all my further videos. For detailed written recipe and ingredients with their measurements, please visit the description box below. So why to wait, quickly moving on to my kitchen. So let's see the ingredients first. So friends, here I have around 3 4 cup of grated cauliflower. Instead of cauliflower, you can even take grated cabbage. Then friends, here you can see that I have finely chopped green capsicum plus finely chopped few green chilies. Then I have grated carrots plus grated sweet corns. These both are around half cup each. Then I have freshly chopped green coriander leaves. Then in floors I have around 1 cup of basin, around half cup of rice flour. Then I have few dry spices which include around half teaspoon of turmeric powder for nice color, around half teaspoon of black pepper powder, around 1 teaspoon of red chili flakes, then some black salt, white salt to taste. Then I have around 1 teaspoon of chaat masala, around 1 teaspoon of crushed ajwain. Instead of that, you can take around half teaspoon of hing. Then I have around 1 teaspoon of jeera seed. And of course, I will have around half teaspoon of baking soda. So friends, here let me tell you that you can take any veggies of your choice. There is no hard and fast rule. Also, you can increase or decrease the amount of spices as per your own choice. Apart from that, we will of course need a mixing bowl, some water to make the batter, few drops of oil or butter and of course the tadka pan in which we are going to make our pancakes. So let's begin. So friends, the first part will be batter preparation. So here I have taken my mixing bowl in which firstly I am adding the grated cauliflower. After that I will add my grated carrots sweet corns, finely chopped capsicum and grated or finely chopped green chilies. Then friends after adding all these veggies simply mix them very properly using a spoon. Then friends it's the time to add our flour so here I am adding the basin or the gram flour and the rice flour. So friends, now you have to add the dry spices. So here I am adding all the dry spices except the baking soda. We will add the soda later on in our batter when we are ready to make our pancakes. Don't add soda at this point of time. Then after adding all the spices, simply mix each and everything very well using the spoon. Here you can even use your hands for better mixing because we want the veggies to release their moisture. In accordance with that only, we will add water to make the batter. Now add the water little by little and start making the batter. Just keep mixing the water using the spoon or using a manual whisker. So friends, I kept on adding water little by little and see, we want the batter consistency like this. So friends, here it's not required to keep the batter for rest but before adding the soda, just heat up your tadka pan. So here I have put my tadka pan over the flame and then I greased it with few drops of oil. This will avoid the sticking of our pancakes. So meanwhile the tadka pan is getting heated, let's add the ginger paste as well as the baking soda to the batter. So after adding them just mix them very well and now you can even add the freshly chopped green coriander leaves. So just give everything a nice mix and your batter is ready to make the pancakes. So by this time our tadka pan is also heated well so now let's move on to our main part that is pancake preparation. 
So friends, as our tadka pan is already heated well, so now just keep the flame to low and then start pouring the batter. We don't want to make our pancake over medium or high flame. We will make our pancake over low flame only. So you can see here, I have poured a nice amount of batter using a ladle and then you have to simply cover it and you have to cook it for 3 to 4 minutes over low flame only. So friends, depending upon the size of pancake you want to make, you have to pour the batter. If you want to make small ones, then pour less batter. If you want to make bigger ones, then you can even pour more. But I have made the medium size, that is why I have poured this amount of batter. So after allowing the batter to cook for 3 to 4 minutes over low flame, now you have to uncover it and check once. If it leaves the pan, it means it's cooked well from the lower side. So here my pancake is cooked well from the lower side, it is leaving the pan well. So I will spread the few drops of oil over the upper surface because when we will flip it, this oil will help in the easy cooking of this side too. So here I am flipping it and see how nicely it's cooked from the lower side. Then you have to press it gently and again you have to cook it for 3 to 4 minutes uncovered only so that the lower side may also be roasted well. So after allowing it to cook for 3 to 4 minutes more over low flame then again we will flip and check. See how nicely it's roasted from this side too. It means our pancake is now ready. We have nicely roasted and cooked it from both the sides. So friends, for all the other pancakes, you have to repeat the same process. You have to heat the tadka pan, you have to apply oil or butter, you have to pour the batter, then you have to keep the flame low and cover it. And then cook it for 3 to 4 minutes over low flame only. And after that, once it leaves the side, then you have to flip it and then you have to cook uncovered for 3 to 4 more minutes so that both the sides are nice and cooked. So friends follow my tips and the procedure and you will be able to get all the other pancakes with the same texture and look. So let me cut a piece for you and see how beautiful, amazing and delicious it looks. So enjoy these yummy pancakes with simple tomato ketchup or chutney of your choice. I am sure you all must have liked my recipe and will definitely try to make it. So do share your feedback and experience in my comment section below. See you soon in my next video. Till then take care and thanks for watching.